All right, today we ran down to the South Tower. The target species was amberjack. We made pretty quick work of it. Uh, we had Christian, Logan, Anthony, Kenny, my dad, and Jordan, all from Oceans East with us. It's a great trip. Uh, got done really early, so we're going to try to hit some wrecks on the way in, see if we can hit some flounder and some sea bass. All right, so we got a few different jigs we're going to try. We got a bucktail, we're going to drop these down. And we got a couple of them with tandem rigs on top, so we're going to try that. Sometimes they like to hit that top tandem. Sometimes they like the bigger presentation on the bottom, a bigger bait. So everything we're using is all nice, lightweight jigging poles, so we can sit here and jig all day and ain't just not wearing your arm out. And, uh, I mean, you enjoy the, the fight from the fish. My weapon of choice is Abu Garcia Revo ALX and a Ferocity, and I'm using a door matters. No boys, few men. I'm using the wing fall jig. Um, we're probably going to tip it with some cut bait, sitting in probably 120 feet of water. Um, see what happens. You should have watched my sea bass video, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. It is a flounder. Keep it in the water until we get to that. Is that a keeper? Yeah, it is. What? That's a guy. I don't know. We're going to buffer this flounder. I think. I'm trying to ask you. We're going to do it. Do it. Nice team, man. Lift it. Lift it up. Like the best, best oh, he got crabs coming out of him. Oh, he's oh, another nice one. Z Man headlock, Z Man doormat, doormat. Did he hit a bucket? Yeah, it wasn't a bucket. Catch some big ones on the metal. Always catch a big one on the metal. What we're doing is we're pulling up to the wreck. Right as I pull up to the far end of the wreck, once I've gone over the whole thing, I'll stop, tell them to drop, and then we'll drift back across the whole entire wreck. And we've got five really good anglers back there right now, so usually you can tell pretty quick if a piece has them or not. Right now we're catching a few, so we get a few more. So. Yeah. It also feels like a sea bass. I ain't, feeling, I ain't feeling the head shakes like a, like a flounder. <laughs> Is that how you tell the 
Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was perfect. Well, it ain't got no head shakes. <laughs> oh, there's a flounder. Look at that head shake, Anthony. Guaranteed flounder. Did you put a nice one? Is it a nether? I'll just see how it shakes you up. Use it as a clown. Don't let it see that. We were correct. Oh, I'm glad it goes to head shake. Keeper. Clowner. Bring his bucktail on a little strip of spot. That meat's the ticket. They love that meat. Z man flew up there with it. That's it. He's got a lot of spot on, so hopefully we're in him. He got hooked. <laughs> got a little piece of squid, a little piece of spot on there. Drop a butterfly jig down. Dump, dump. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah. You see, too, there's two different types of jigging techniques a lot of people use. They go real short and fast, motion like that, flounder fishing, to stop it. Or, a lot of people just do the big jigs. I like it. It's short and fast, personally. Oh, jiggy jiggy, Jiggy jiggy, like, like Brit Tuttle jiggy. Like Brit Tuttle jiggy Ray Cyrus. There it is, Jiggy Ray, baby! That's how it's done. That's a flounder. Is that a flounder? That's, That's a flounder. It's got to be a jiggy with it. I'm not sure how it's done there. I'll come away from the wheel for a minute. Come on, Daddy. There we go. Oh, oh, like this yeah. loose, too. That'd be Justin's first drop to the bottom for a flounder today. Yeah. About four bounces. Here we go. Game to play by play on that one. That was an old, old left handy. I didn't know what was going on there. I think so. I don't know. It is like real aggressive, like a bass. Now it's a flounder. Yeah, definitely. Put it on the Diablo. Give me the net. Give me the net. Daddy back in action. On that Diablo. Caught him on the teaser on top. Never know. Sometimes it's on the bottom, sometimes it's on the top. This is a common flounder rig a lot of guys use. I mean, the guys use any, everything from one hook to two hooks, but. For some reason this top hook catches a lot of fish with no weight on it, no anything, just a piece of gulp, a piece of cut bait on it. Second drop, second fish. It's working. Might as well Damn! 
That's a citation for sea bass right there. Look out for it, Oh, you get close to it. You can see what they're eating down there. Yeah, it's spitting the whole crab. So enjoy it, crab. Pretty one. Found there's a big bass. Good wreck fishing. Oh, 
what a beautiful fish. He's real dark, looks like he was holding tight to the red. Usually when they get a little bit lighter, they're in the sand. They're dark like this, usually they're tighter to the red. I like them when they're brown. All right. More flounder. Same thing. Different red. So we just got back to the dock. Uh, we got down amberjack fishing. Decided to bounce around a couple of wrecks and go flounder fishing. And had a bunch of guys on the boat. So uh, when you find the wrecks and you get on good, everybody pretty much hooks up. Good fishing for sure. Definitely caught a lot of, a lot of nice flounders, nice, a lot of nice sea bass. And uh, it was fun. Definitely good time. It was a good time having half our guys from the Virginia Beach location went out today. Uh, we've never had all of us together. So we definitely had a blast out in the water. And, Bought a bunch of wrecks, like you said, caught a ton of flounder at the end, uh, and then you know the amber jacks at the beginning. So cool thing is seeing seeing it Kenny out there bouncing jigs with bass here. <laughs> right. That's one of the coolest things I've seen. We had a blast. It was a good time on the water, and love bringing Kenny out here, our Bassmaster Classic. That's right. <laughs> and if you want to see more of Ocean's East, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and come see us in stores.